Well, here we are up in Osvigion in the uh, Gush Etzion area, and uh, I'm really, really honored to uh, have uh, Avi Abelo from Israel Unwired, and uh, you're going to find out. Avi is a bit unwired, and uh, he's got a story to tell. And so, uh, Avi, why don't you introduce yourself uh, to us and uh, tell us uh, uh, about your uh, different projects. You've uh, got Israel Unwired, your uh, 12 tribes, uh, you have a website that is reaching uh, uh, into the Christian community, and so uh, nice, to, uh, nice to be with you. Well, Anthony, it is a pleasure seeing you again, and thank you for all of the work that you are doing to help develop the awareness of the, the special place the Judean hills, the ancestral homelands of the Jewish people holds the Jewish people today and for the whole issue, the importance of sovereignty, for the Jewish people being sovereign in our ancestral homeland. Got to so be. Thank, thank you very much for that. Um, I like to say that I'm an enabler. An enabler. I, like, I like enabling other people who are doing good work for the land of Israel and for the Jewish people to get the truth out there. Um, uh, I'm an educator at heart. Originally an organizational psychologist, worked as a management consultant for a big four consulting firm. Mm, good for you. And um, it was fun, it was good, it was a great career, but uh, it wasn't fulfilling. I mean, I think if, after following me, uh, I think you could p point out my, my true passion is the passion for my peoplehood, the passion for my homeland, and spreading that joy and specialness and passion to as many people as I can. So um, I ended up making a jump and a career change. I produced a movie mm. about the, the last youth basketball tournament that took place in Gush Katif in the, uh, the, the Jewish communities of Gaza in the summer of 2005. Wow, that was when they were still there, and then they had to be evacuated, for those that don't know, right? They were taken Correct. out of Gush Katif. Correct. I call it the expulsion, because they were really it expelled yeah. expelled from their homes. Um, I knew it was going to be a tragedy, not just for the land of Israel, not just for the people of Gush Katif. I knew it would be a tragedy for the whole Jewish people. Um, back then, this is 2005, I was telling people that when the world sees pictures of the Jewish state of Israel, removing and expelling fellow Jews from their homes and destroying Jewish homes, that right. is just going to give a uh, carte blanche for people around the world to say, hey, if the Jewish people are doing such horrible things to themselves, then hey, we could do bad things to the Jews also, and yeah. then anti-Semitism was going to rise. This yeah. is what I was warning people in 2005, saying why it was a huge mistake on a global level, not just pinpoint here in Israel. So I was very active in uh, against the plan, trying to stop it, and I uh, snuck in there the last month to help and be there and uh, try to do whatever I could to help. To make a long story short, I ended up producing a movie. I have no hmm. movie background whatsoever, no marketing background whatsoever, no fundraising background whatsoever, and I ended up making this movie and marketing it around the world because the story was just so important. Um, and it's still, how many were 14 years later, it's still one of the most watched movies about the story of the Jewish uh, communities and the families and youth of Gaza and what they experienced that summer when they were expelled and how they handled it. Um, and when I did that, then I realized, oh my God, this I'm passionate about. Yes, it's like, sir. yeah, I had a nice career going with, uh, with the consulting world, but uh, I saw the importance of using media. Mm -hmm. The left, as most people know, has been using media for decades to brainwash they are using the it. culture yep. of each and every generation. We're like four, five, six generations of constant brainwashing of, of the left's messages and values that are against the Judeo-Christian values that are the bedrock, both of the Jewish people here in Israel and the bedrock of American civilization. Um, and of Many other freedom, countries as well freedom that are Bible-based, yep. Correct. And little by little, they've been chopping at that, taking advantage of the media and culture. And when I made this movie, I'm like, wait a second, we have to do this. Yes. So I left my consulting job and I set up a nonprofit, set up a business to start producing media, uh, helping promote and, pro and, uh, and market other people's medias, videos, movies, um, to get the truth out to the world about Israel and the Jewish people. I was one of the first to open up a YouTube account, one of the first to open a Facebook account, one of the first to open a Twitter account, My goodness. trying to, seeing the potential. Again, I'm a, I'm a Bible, a God, God-believing man, and my philosophy on life, my belief is book, religious philosophy, is that everything out here is for us. This table, right? Yeah. We have a choice. Are we going to use this table for bad things and to sit here and talk bad about people and do things we're 
not supposed to do? Right. Or are you going to sit at this table and talk good things and talk good things about people and make right. blessings over the food? Right? It's up to us how we take Absolutely. advantage of each and everything in this world. And the, the Jewish way of saying this is um, uh, we are either able to give over holiness mm -hmm. or to desecrate something. And the Bible says that you're to be a light to the nations. Exactly. So what kind of a light are you going to shine? Exactly. Not darkness, not right. evil, but good things out of the Word of God. Exactly. So when I looked at the internet, I'm like, wait a second, a lot of people are using this wasting time or doing bad things. I want to give over some holiness. When people are on their Facebook, I want them to be inspired yeah. by good things and be inspired by the Jewish people and the truth about Israel and understand what's going on and not by the biased um, anti-Israel mainstream media. Right. So that got me started and today we have a whole media empire. I have a number of different websites. One Explain is, each one uh, so that people can uh, okay. dial into them. All right. We started out at Israel Video Network, and people mm -hmm. can find us on Facebook as Israel Video Network. It's right. one of our main Facebook pages. Yes. Um, uh, over half a million just on that. We have over a million others, other followers, other pages. Um, and that's how we one of the ways we spread uh, the videos about Israel and the Jewish people and help people connect to Israel, Jews and non-Jews alike. Uh, then we set up IsraelUnwired.com. We that's, have that. That's another one. You can sign up for uh, emails on a, a daily, weekly basis. Correct. IsraelUnwired.com. Please come every day. You'll get videos. Be inspired. Some days you want to open. Some days you don't have the time. Doesn't make a difference. Then share them and share the truth with people so you really know what's going on here. Um, and that so, we are in it. We're in English. We're in French. We're in Spanish. We're looking oh, to many great. other languages. Please, God. Be sure and tell uh, how to find that uh, that last basketball game in Gush Katif. That's right. So the last basketball game. I mean, you can just go to Google or you can go to IsraelVideoNetwork.com and just search Home Game. That's the name of the movie, Home Game. And add the word Gush Katif, G-U-S-H, and then K-A-T-I-F. You can go to Google and do that as well. And it's basically, uh, it's on our original website, IsraelVideoNetwork.com. Um, yeah, so definitely be inspired and share that movie. That's what started this all. And it's definitely something that's still important to me. It still holds today. People don't understand what's going on with Gaza. They don't understand the problem Israel has with Gaza. Right. And that gives a little picture. Also, today people forgot that Jews used to live in Gaza. So that gives a little picture of the reality that was here 15 years ago. Um, to have a little better understanding of the conflict we're dealing with. Again, the Jewish people, the land of Israel, decided to make a risk for peace and expel our own oh, people out of their homes, oh, destroy our homes, destroy our synagogues, even uproot the, all the Jews from their graves who were buried in Gush Katif, all to try to make the world have no complaint against us. The Jews are gone out of Gaza. No one can say we're occupiers, even though it was Jewish land, even though Jews lived there through the millennia. We had Jewish synagogues there. The Talmud has rabbis who were from Gaza, but the world doesn't want to recognize that and, the, and unfortunately the secular state of Israel didn't want to recognize that let's help make the, the let's not have the world have any claims against us we're totally out totally out if we're totally out the world's gonna gonna leave us alone say we're not occupiers anymore and look today what are the headlines of the news Israel's occupiers we're doing horrible things to the people in Gaza all the all the the the, the, the poverty there is Israel's fault all all the rockets they send it's our fault Learn the truth, understand part of the story, watch the movie Home Game about Gush Katif. Um, uh, so that's what we are. We're a media company trying, you know, focusing on videos and focusing on videos that other people make that we help get seen. Uh, we put up videos that you make. We yes. put up videos. Thank you very much for that. I know you're familiar articles. with Esri Tubi, oh, yes. fabulous boomerang yeah. videos. Boomerang we put videos, up. get them too. So we like we like being enablers. Everyone else is doing good stuff out there. Um, good messages, Ari and Jeremy. Arya Bramowitz, Jeremy Gumpel, Ben Goldstein, another one, yes. uh, Josh Hastin, a lot of powerful, powerful voices, each their own voice, each folk on their own focus, each showing the truth about Israel, and of course, videos from the army, and, video, and, and just fun videos, and music videos. It's just about giving the daily dosage of Jewish Israel inspiration to people around the world. So that's what we're about. That's great.